So, Rav a question was asked, um, Tzalem Elohim, does that only exist by Yidin, by Jews, or do non-Jews also have a Tzalem Elohim? Um, it's a question that's thrown around by the Rishonim. Even the Rambam discusses and mentions, and they all base it on Rabbi Akiva's statement in Pirkei Ovos that talks of Chaviv Adam Nivra B'Tzalem, uh, that's his statement, and the Rambam says that really the continuity of the Midos that we have is what is referring to Tselem Elohim. The Toysus Yom Tif is famous for a lengthy discussion about Tselem Elohim, and he says yes, that since Goyim are human beings, they don't have a nefesh elokus, they have a nefesh abahamis. They don't have the same level neshama as a yid, but they are human beings and they are able to talk and walk and think and discuss and everything, that they do have a tselem elokim. But the Medrash Shmuel, who was a Talmud of Reb Chaim Vital, the Talmud Muvuk of the Arizal, was very strong that there is no level of Tselem Elohim. Now, Tselem Elohim really means a ruchnius on the person, a godliness. And the Arizal, when somebody used to walk into him, Ayyid, he was able to see the olive base on his forehead. And if he did any Aveira that day or that week, that letter that represented that Avera was crooked or turned upside down. So he was able to take a look at a person, he was able, and that was all from the Tselem Elohim. But the Reb Chaim Vital very strongly said over from his Rebbe that only the Tzaddikim by Goyim have an elevated spiritual, because Tselem Elohim doesn't mean a physical trait. It means some godliness which is possessed in his actual being. And the question is, how much has it come to flourish? So as I said, that the Toysus Yom Tov said, yes, he has some sort of spiritual reflection in his spirituality, whatever level he's at. But Reb Chaim Vital came to disagree and he very strongly said that um, it's only if they are tzaddikim. Don't forget, goyim were given sheva mitzvahs b'nei noyach. That means our Kodesh Baruch Hu gave them a command to keep certain mitzvahs. Now, he didn't give it to an animal, and he didn't give it to the stones or to the trees, but he gave it to a human being, a goy, and that spirituality has to be brought out in him by his doing. It's a much lo lo lower level. We know that there are goyim that are zoichet to olam haba, but it's nowhere near the olam haba of what a yid gets. He had 613 mitzvahs. He had seven mitzvahs, so if he keeps the seven, and he has a, he lives a life, says Reb Chaim Vital, of morality and whatever that there's he has a good slave then he ends up having throughout his life a diminished selim elokim and it comes to flourish in his atzmias and it can be seen by tzaddikim gemurim on his forehead but the second he does any Averis, he loses it all, says Reb Chaim Vital. Now the morale was of the opinion that only Yidin have Tselem Elohim. And he explained that, again, because Goyim have certain mitzvahs, and there are Goyim who did tremendous things. You take Wald Waldenberg, uh, Wallenberg, you know, in the Second World War, they were, they were like tzaddikim, these go and put their lives on the land, save thousands of, of Yidin. They're given a special place in Ganeden. 
that again does not reach the yid, but it's at their level, like everything and anything, because they were moisten nefesh and they deserve there is reward for anyone who does anything good in this world, and they certainly deserve it. But that is basically the difference. You know, it's hard to define because there are very diverse opinions about Selim and Lokim, but the Arizal was able to pinpoint it by just looking at the person's face. Okay, thank you. Now, if you want to just